But the good thing that happened at O&M was I met Rajkumar Hirani hmm. uh, because he was doing a what? he was uh, an O&M he was uh, acting uh, for O&M uh, a Rajkumar couple of ads Hirani. yeah he had done some uh, uh, fluoride ad or some the I don't remember a motorbike ad uh, no it, uh, something he had done I think Rajkumar it was a toothpaste Kumar ad Hirani or something Bajaj. O&M yeah some toothpaste ad he had done my film jaane to ya jaane na that's what you got to talk about that's, is there a remake I, I, i get a lot of requests from young people saying please make a sequel please make a sequel i don't know if there'll ever be a sequel but if there ever is one hmm. right it, uh, you, how can you not call it jaane to you can, <laughs> you, you have to right that's like you can call it mane to ya mane i said no i'll call it jaane to yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's fair simple so this, this, this something yeah, the pun actually works this, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah shortly after jaane to I came up with an idea for the sequel. Hmm. I, even I wasn't sure whether I was joking or not, and hmm. I took it to Khasa. Okay, the film starts with uh, Jay and Aditi um, are living separately. Uh, they they how many years later? Not too much later, Achha. right? I'm like they they are separated, and Jay has an affair with Meghna. Podcast ka naam hai Cyrus says named after one of the great leaders of India. Something Mr. Says. And with me is the legendary Abbas Sairwala, who's uh, two years younger than me. I did some research. Oh, before he says anything, अभी बाल नहीं है तो पता नहीं चलता ना exactly what age. This is a very good technique actually yeah, for me. Legendary कहाँ से? Legendary. It's a fair. It's a fair point. Okay. You, you're a legendary in the same generation. Ah, I've I'm seen your legend grow. Huh? Ah, sorry. I'm a contemporary legend. No, yeah, that's the best. It. Listen, Doni Bhai has a biopic. Correct. He's still very much alive. Still a legend. You that's know, legend it. status. You don't have to wait for people to. Excuse me, you know, leave. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, leave the gateway of India. Let's call it that way. Yeah, but uh, so Abbas, let's let's start at the beginning. Firstly, uh, we met quite a few times. Yes, uh, we have a lot in common. Uh, we're both non-veg. That's very important. Crucial. Very rare to get a guest like that, yeah. Yeah, I, I I I call it a protein dominant diet. Protein dominant guys, and you grew up in the best, some of the best foods of Mumbai, at least for a South Mumbai girl, which is Baikala. Yes. Oh my God, Noor Mohammadi, I'm already I'm salivating thinking. My driver is already on the way to get kebab from <sighs> Sarvi. Sarvi, don't take these yeah. names. One, one, My heart is shaking, yeah. beta. Once I come from the suburbs this far, yeah. then I don't stop before Sarvi and. But now you can zomato it also. I know, but Sarvi but and butter chicken are a bit too far from Varsova, so you typically have to get a. You have to order separately. Really? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will bring it on my bike for you. Arre, It's ridiculous, beta. Yeah. I love it. Huh. Huh. Sarvi kebabs, but That's yes, a, not not the time we should discuss. It's not a food show. Not not a food show. Best kebabs there. But yes, Michaela had good food. It was nimbu, squeeze kebab, nothing else. Yeah. You don't need anything else. Unreal. And those are the days when Michaela also had uh, something called a falsa shop where people ah. used to come from all over and they used to make these really really chemically dominant drinks. Yeah. Right, and they had this chana batata wala right opposite where huh. all the school kids would gather and it was it was quite a food fest every day. I love all that. Yeah. I of course you the love rangin all that. Rangin drinks and all that drive me yeah, mad. Yeah, they don't favorite. exist anymore. They don't exist, and I feel like they want to be rude to the brands that give you money and all that. But some of the other the taste of those rubbishy drinks. Yeah. Oh, uh, that we had. There, there's, there's no threat to life, so the excitement is missing. Yeah. Also, you could keep choosing different ones, no? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. each time you were having it, you were risking some organ. Why did you marry just one person then? You know, it doesn't make any sense here. Uh, so philosophy is wrong. I, uh, I think I've married a person who's the closest I've come to multiple personality disorder. Ah, so I, 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 yeah, I, you I, praised I, her I get, and you insulted yeah, her yeah, in yeah. one. I get the, I get everything from my. My mother's good bahu to a woman whose rage I can barely handle. I get it all in one spectrum. I love it. Be careful, lad. Do you have a step knee? Otherwise, the tire will go. Sorry, That I couldn't too. resist. I was thinking I, how I to bring it in. I thought you'd save it, it for later. Yeah, shit. Too early, na. Okay, one, one, one more car as we Correct. go on. All right. So, so we bike club boys. So we are born or we lived three, four kilometers apart. Xavier's boy also. Very much so. Uh, but my junior. Matter of senior, you got to show respect. No matter how famous he is in India, if that's the true thing, absolutely. If you're if you're a junior in the college, you remain junior. Correct, correct. So correct. even like Shah Rukh Khan, when he meets his senior, who's a loser and does nothing in life, he has to say, "Hey, Balde, what's up, yar?" And you know, I think it's a respect. wonderful Indian tradition, and I'm I very happy to keep it. Keep it, <laughs> senior G. <laughs> Call me uncle. Yeah. <laughs> so Xavier's. Then uh, we'll just quickly tr- uh, trace the life, and then we'll get into all the big movies and everything else. There's too many to get into, uh, so you, you decide which one to talk about. Sure. But um, O&M, no, no, you tell us because uh, you were freelancer first. Yes. While in college. Uh, in fact, as I tried reminding you just before we began, Offline, and you yeah. said, "Oh, let's save it because yeah. you didn't." No, remember. I don't. See, my worry is that I used to drink a lot. Now I don't. So right. I don't want any stories to come out which I don't remember. And maybe you know nothing not that nice. exciting. Oh, it was exciting. just it that bad. some of my first uh, professional assignments were for an agency called Dakunas, uh. because uh, 
a wonderful unnamed girl uh, unnamed because i won't be naming her she was named by her parents of okay. course this is in the kunas this was uh, she was uh, in xavier's with me okay. Okay. And don't try and guess. I'm uh, guessing only. Because, I don't know. In fact, I'm thinking I'll just take a chance. <laughs> Purnima, Shanti. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with Purnima. So How much time do we have Pur- in this podcast? So Purnima's mother, no. Purnima's mother was associated with Dakuna's. Oh, thank uh, you calling her Purnima. Some, yeah, let's call her Purnima. <laughs> uh, and I remember that I did an ad for Dakuna's, and that was a- the as a ri- fo- as, acting as, or writing as a writer, hmm. as a writer. Hmm. All right, and uh, I I did some lyrics and some translation and product, some. Product, uh, I can't because then you'll trace back to Purnima's mother. Um, it was for Seema Extra Bright Tube Lights. That's Sri Devi. Yeah, that, that's what Sri Devi was the uh, was the. Let's m- call her Sri Devi. So Sri Devi, the legendary Sri. The, not the legend. I'm talking about the actress, the famous Sri Devi. That no, not the Seema not Bal- the definitive one. Much later, they did another one uh, that went Seema Extra Bright okay, Tube okay, Lights. Okay. Yada Roshni, yada light. Yada? Yeah, yeah. Lyrics. Yada. 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 Don't forget the lyrics. <laughs> so I did that, and that was my first paid assignment in life. Say it again. Say it again. I thought it was lovely. Oh, it went Seema extra bright tube lights, <laughs> zada roshni, zada light, extra chamak hai. That's very nineties, two eight years. Seema extra bright. Well, it was very early two thousand. Yeah. No, it was nineties. Yeah, mm. yeah, Xavier. Yeah. It's very much nineties, ninety three ish. Dude, powder. Ninety three, ninety four ish. Yeah, totally. Oh, you got to so, get it. You got to be specific. That always. zone. That days. zone. That They've zone. They've lost that. So I did that, and then uh, I remember uh, Rahul Dakuna uh, yeah. had very graciously given me a uh, check by his own hands, and I was like, like fifteen hundred rupees. Wow! My my father wasn't earning that much in a month in his ti- in wow. his optician shop, and this you was said like tire shop first. Right? Yeah, because for the longest time it was a tire shop. Then it my, was a tire shop. It was a tire shop. It was a small oh, tire shop oh. in in Lamington Road, oh. uh, and it was called Kazani Tire Service, which was actually mm. a family name. And then he. Kazani is such a nice sounding. Not I to know, be rude, but why? why what are you gonna do? Kazani go. The ti- I'll tell you why. It sounds Irun. It sounds Italian. It the, sounds. The Sindhi. name Tirewala stuck because my dad stopped being a Tirewala. It's very interesting. While he was a Tirewala, huh. everyone called him Kazani, which was his surname. Oh. Then he studied nights and became an optometrist, which is something uh, rudey. Uh, basically, chashme banate the. Like to. From and tire to glasses, I don't see that he, connection. He no. made a he uh, he just wanted to do better in life, and he made a, that shop. He turned it into Eagle Opticians, which nice. was an opti- uh, optical shop. Hmm. Uh, proceeded to make even less money than the tire shop. <laughs> But now, as soon as he uh, became an optician, yeah. people remembered him as a tire wala, and that became the surname. It you know, I was just thinking of, from business point of view, I think it's the wrong decision. The tires are so bloody expensive, yar. Well, uh, I think it was a, my my father had many gifts. Uh, making money was not one of them. Yeah. Um, he was a man of God, and hmm. he stayed that way till hmm. his last day. Hmm. And he was a wonderful man, uh, tough man. Uh, you know. Did he went, approve went, of my son writer? Because he sounds like a he ad- hard nose. He adored my son writer. I remember the day when I wanted to quit my education just before graduation because mm-hmm. I was getting a job at O and M. In those days, you know, the biggest, uh, the biggest. Still, I think he's creatively in, in a lot of ways. Yes, yeah. and those were the heydays when Piyush Pandey, Piyush Pandey, and yeah. Sonal Dabral were actually Super. in the Mumbai office. So the I two worked best guys with ever. them in yeah. APJ House. And uh, my father said, "Look, my father, when he passed away, uh, I was seven. And you were I, seven. My dad was seven, and he goes. Oh, uh, my! You know, a, a cousin brought us up, and the day I finished my school in a Gujarati medium school, he took me to uh, my tire shop, my father's tire shop, and said, "This is now yours. Run it." And that's all I've got to show. And now even that's gone, hmm. <laughs> right? Hmm. Uh, because my dad went to the New York, went to New York, and did some work because my sister was married there, and all. I just always trying to make his family secure. Hmm. He goes, "Your education." What your mother and I have gone through to give that to you, uh, you've seen it. I'm not mm. gonna make a production out of it, uh, but there's nothing more I can leave you. If you choose to forego that education, mm. uh, then it's you from now on. There's nothing more I can bring to you. Are you sure you know what you're doing? And I said yes. He goes, then Godspeed. I'm proud of you. And he supported me. Pressure की बात है. Pressure की बात है. But but it's uh, a straight up conversation. It's a straight up conversation. Yeah. I'm getting a job at one M in a, in those days mm. uh, where people would. It's like he's made the product. He put the stamp. He sent it out. Huh, no, correct. Ab tu dekh. Ab meri bhi. Ab ab mujhse aur nahi hoga. Right. But he he stayed proud. He collected every little snippet that came out about me in the days that I was still uh, happy to be in the media. And uh, yeah, I I, I think he was very happy. Yeah, my mom is the same, you know. And the thing is that uh, every little thing, uh, third place in some swimming competition, whatever, all those little uh, snippets yes. are cut and kept in an album. Absolutely. What is it with parents, really? Um. 
it's, it, it's it's amazing just how much they can invest in in I think the I think the amount of time from the time you are born uh, especially when people are born without too many resources or mm. when people don't have too many resources or come from a degree of lack mm. uh from the day you are born, born from the day you are born they are wondering will this child be okay will he or she survive will he or she do well my mother still worried right yeah. and uh, yeah true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the day they feel ah i can stop worrying about it yeah. uh, that 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 gush of relief more than anything i think is so strong that after that they relish every little achievement of yours mm-hmm. i think that's what happens but at least your dad didn't show the neighbors and all my mom will show everyone my dad yeah. my, yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad my, son. my dad could not stop talking about stop? yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> 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 they see him coming yeah. they're like oh yaar wo abbas ka bhai yeah, 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 he was he was he was he yeah. was very proud yes yeah. yeah. Yeah, and rightly so. Uh, so let's let's move on before we run out of huh. time. So yeah, huh. I came to the Kunas, and that's where I met you and Kunal. As a freelancer, I came as a freelancer. So 94, I was there I, for a year. Yeah. yeah. So around that time, I also pitched for some Amul hoardings. Um, uh, I did not get the spirit of them, I think, and therefore they didn't make it. But I did a lot of translation so Amul, work for the Kunas. Amul hoarding is what I used to try to do the most of because it's the shortest. Correct. So always remember, it was always the aspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Artists, I'm the opposite end of the spectrum. Right. सबसे छोटा क्या है? सबसे कम काम कैसा होगा? That's how you think. और मैं बहुत ही बहुत ही खराब मैं मैं पंज में चला गया था. I remember yeah. Michael But Jackson का एक हाँ Michael Jackson का एक concert cancel हुआ था. So I did something horrible like didn't the Dilly Jean fit Michael Jackson some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> so <laughs> no, but I the fact of the matter is that while advertising started me off, uh, there was a very strong sense of I'm not going to be top of the line in this. एक ज़माना था जब हर कोई games खेलता था. जब सोनाल या पियोश नहीं होते थे और जैसे वो लोग आते थे ना they would quickly switch their comp screens yeah. they would be playing snakes which was that game available on those PCs those huh. days right huh. um, I was the only one this who is still going on the games have changed you know the that, games right? have changed uh, correct uh, so while everyone else would be playing snakes I would be writing uh, long form scripts because yeah. I actually wanted to be a script writer and every time they would come I would switch and I remember my first appraisal was someone said you know everyone is on a game screen hmm. when I'm walking past hmm. you're always writing a longer script are hmm. you sure advertising is what you want to do I you're all right I'll keep you on but mm. I don't think that's where your heart is mm. and uh, he actually got me as somebody coming from a low, lower middle class background um with a job in O&M security all that and working with the top dogs also. working with the top dogs to actually look back at that age I was what 22 mm. and say you're right this is not what I want to do in which case I'm not being fair yes, and sir? I opted out I reckon I would make it but it, I was not doing something where I would so be So you let go of the job? I let go of the job. I thought you let go of the job after you wrote your first script. No. No, I let go of my job because he was right. And uh, What did you tell your parents? I told my parents I'll be fine. I think I know what I want to do and I think I'll be better at it and they were like dad's immortal question. He had a way with words. Do you know what you're doing? Hmm. Yes dad. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of confidence actually. Yeah, and the fifteen hundred bucks gone, but eleven uh, thousand at that. Eleven thousand dollars, yeah. Eleven thousand yeah. rupees the salary in those days was was not. Why didn't uh, you just keep it and and continue writing like you were because there's enough time? Uh, that's not the way I wanted to live, uh, and no, also too sincere. not too Learn sincere. No, no, no. Right now, I'm freelancing on this podcast. I'm doing another one here. एक कमीनी है जिसका नाम है एन रैंड जिसको मैं सेवन स्टैंडर्ड से पढ़ रहा हूँ उसे दिमाग खराब कर रहा था फाउंटेन एट एंड ऑल दैट तो ये किताबें दिमाग खराब करती है दे रोइन योर थिंकिंग so so I I was like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So it took me a long time to recover from that nonsense oh, I uh, should read Chanda Mama shorter easier much better and, and, and a just humor and lot less likely to yeah. uh, you get know your soul get into your soul and mess it your soul is always dangerous terrible the moment you feel that it's getting you should shut the book complete rubbish yeah. complete rubbish yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, luckily one thing led to another. Scripts happened. I you know I I don't know it. It was a very charm time. Hmm. I like I still remember. But this had, is you know you're saying all this now and looking back and I'm thinking you know now it's all worked out and you became really famous fast. But you must be scared, little bit. I had no stable job. Tha. You're going in the right direction in advertising. You would have been right at the top in no time. Who knows? I uh, don't know. Maybe it was lack of imagination. Imagination, but I had no doubt. I could not see a world in which I would not be writing films, and because it was so clear, hmm. there was absolutely no risk associated with it. In fact, advertising was just uh, stealing time away from that. And uh, or, or when I, you I, watch Hindi films, did you try to correct them? Would you be like, "Yeah, yeah, say, wah, yeah, I don't think it's right." It was not about correcting, but I know that there were three films that uh, just. Uh, made me aware that there was some kind of a change coming in cinema films mm. like roja films like shiva 
फिल्म लाइक परिंदा रामगोपाल वर्मा शिवा विद नागार्जुन कॉलेज गैंग लैंड फ्लिक काइंड ऑफ थिंग बट वेरी स्ट्रेट एरो वेरी इंटेंस uh not with all the trappings of commercial cinema as you're mm-hmm. used to them and people just connected and that raw visceral energy uh was something that i really really uh, you know connected to and felt it was wonderful that this kind of thing was possible the new angry young man the new angry young yeah. man right and that's actually where magul would, would you magul be selling from friend? who was not a big okay. salim javed fan for our generation is impossible you know, absolutely yeah. salim javed wo 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 they gonna hear people who have not seen shole i take out my chappal then my wife restrains me you know not seen because shole because it's a yeah people have not seen shole oh. this generation boss i've been through hell That's ask odd. the boys i've met a girl who does know kapil dev is i've met people who have never seen shole soon there'll be a world where people will say who's amitabh bachchan this thing is i'm telling you take a pill end it scary generation scary scary very scary you know but is what it is but things worked out Uh, I I still remember the first time uh, out of the blue Shekhar Kapoor called my place and we were living in a one room kitchen How? in Baikala. Oh kahin kahin se unhon ah I remember there's a guy called um, uh, Mr R Kanan is a guy called Mr R Kanan he Rishi was Rishi Kanan the, the uh, RJ uh, no not Rishi Kanan the RJ who's uh, a well known uh, friend but mm-hmm. no not mm-hmm. him uh, this was a person who played the cop in Bandit Queen and he was also the associate director and the casting and director of Bandit film yeah So he had uh, I had met Shiv Subramaniam because of the theater association in Xavier yeah. and he had told Kanan or kuch hote hote Shekhar Kapoor was looking for someone young to write uh, some for a brand movie. new untested guy out of the blue call yeah. me first i didn't believe it was shekhar kapoor when mm. i realized it's actually shekhar kapoor i said here talk to my sister she's a fan my giggling 3 years younger mm. sister who's mm. in her teens is talking to shekhar kapoor and he's like very patiently had a very charming conversation with her mm. uh, he is a, a very charming man perhaps mm. the single most charming man i've met mm. uh, second only to guldar sahab but you abhi chehre pe tareef nahi kar raha na peet piche tareef kar raha hai peet piche tareef kar raha hai you know shut the shut the recording uh, what is this okay let's let's, let, let's qualify it uh, uh, yeah. the most charming man when he had an agenda <laughs> true, uh, true so yeah. my sister was in in giggles because mm. there, he was really really uh, a very very cute man mm. uh, and then we had the conversation after she was done and you know happy that she had spoken to shikhar kapoor and then he said can we talk work mm. <laughs> i'm like yeah sure yeah i do that too so things just happened at mm. that time and it was like i said uh, i don't know maybe a lot of duas because i come from a you know family of people who are very very spiritual mm. so maybe i just carried a lot of grace with me there's a gentleman there's got to be a luck factor in people's there's lives there's a lot of i remember I, there's a gentleman called bobby bedi uh, ah, producer yeah. he had said one line to me that uh, i have never quite forgot and he said grace is your reward for doing nothing tum kuch nahi karte ho it it happens mm. that is grace when mm. you've done nothing to deserve it and things happen and especially in those days i think i carried a lot of grace with me alhamdulillah mm. Mm. so yeah things happened but going back so there were two three the before shaker there were two three scripts that didn't get picked up that you were trying to pet I, 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 yeah, yeah i so i before uh, actually i also had a part time job in uh, college before mm. i applied to, before i got into onm onm was just after college mm. uh, this place called crest communication i remember crest in the good old days sham yeah, ramana yeah, sham ramana dekha bhai ye mera generation ka hai sab pata chalta hai mai you get those young people and i don't know what they're talking about Out. it's not fair yeah so this well, is this stay. is don't go i know <laughs> so this i would go to college in the morning and then uh, you know sort of around noon i would head to worli hmm. and uh, yeah i remember where it was yeah, that yeah. big uh, crest house he, he there he was a pioneer no with tech and all that here with with special effects special and effects, with, uh, video yeah. effects and yeah what what happened where what not to be i i think he was just Moved some from. people yeah he he was just like tired of trying to get people to catch up with him and he just mm. went off i think to hong kong or singapore somewhere and did his own thing sham come back yeah, yeah he was good lonely. Right? and mm-hmm. he he did some pretty path breaking work they remember that first kama sutra ad that had everyone go whoa where did uh. this come from that was sham ramana yeah. i mean i've never yeah. used it ha huh. um i'm sure there's <laughs> lots of broja material around that we don't know oh, about don't say that baba there go or bill banna padega happy discovery <laughs> please remember never never say that so yeah. wahan par oh, i had met a few people and the the 
this strange boy from Baikala who's also been to Xavier's but wants to write about the underworld. Uh, there's a certain intrigue factor. Uh, I think uh, Hindi bhi bol leta hai, Angrezi bhi bol leta uh, hai, to, uh, thoda international bhi soch sakta hai, thoda uh, ye bhi soch sakta hai. So but there was true. a certain... You, you've been shaped by a lot of different cultures. No, very, so, very, very, very different cultures. Unique in a sense, yes, at that yes. point at least. Uh, yes, it was, it was unusual mm. at that point. So either somebody came from the heartland and then had yeah, this whole... Yeah, one time or the other time. Yeah, yeah, so you had like Anurag Kashyap who came from, yeah. uh, you know, the heartland and was carried that Hindi... Uh, sort of soul and, with and him and, and, and all that, right? Also. Yeah, uh, right. That. So, so he had yeah. studied cinema, but his all his influences were Western. Yeah. Uh, but he carried the soul of the heartland with him, and they you know, speak. I was actually a child of no world or both worlds or multiple worlds. Yeah. I, I, I could just get into the literature I had been through, or I could get go through the Baikala upbringing that I had with Madan Burai, Bhindi Bazaar, and that yeah. was my upbringing. Yeah? Which is why around the same time I could do a Makbul, which was based on a Shakespeare, and I could do a Munna by MBBS, which was the language that I grew up speaking. Hmm. Right? Uh, so, so, so now that you mentioned, so that whole, uh, like you say, circuit's character and all that, that's all you. Uh, well, the, the the language the idea, is definitely, understand. of course, yeah, 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 yeah. The language is everything in that, yeah. Yeah, the language. The character. Because uh, that's that's actually the language that I... Well, I, I it, it's become so popular, I think, after that. I mean, I've done a bit of that in, say, Amar Kibar Anthony and a couple of other films, but I think right. by Arshad's character became so popular with the Bombay Speak. The Bombay Speak. The, no, Bombay had been around, uh, but nothing had brought it to the fore. Like, like Satya had happened before that. Yeah, that's true. And that had... Yeah, but it's so not Bombay funny had, Bombay. Had, yeah, it's but it's not funny Bombay. So, 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 so Bombay... I mean, Parsis real, can appreciate yeah. that. Oh, this is a language now we understand. Yeah, so yeah. That, 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 that language uh, became for the longest time before the Delhi wave replaced it as yeah. the language of uh, Hindi cinema uh, for a while that really became the colloquial yeah, the that. idiom of please the, revive that huh? yeah no. No, aega, uska bhi oh, no. but they have characters always of haan, course characters haan. Haan. so it was very interesting because also I needed to pretend to be sort of well spoken but I, I grew up speaking that but I wrote <laughs> uh, a pretty good Hindustani you know yeah so I had to teach myself when I started interacting with people like Vishal Ji, Vishal Bhardwaj mm -hmm. and all, with whom I've done a fair amount of work and all that. Uh, I had to temper my language and I actually taught myself that you speak Urdu, no? I do. I, I fake Urdu. Better. I fake Urdu. There must Urdu. be vocabulary must be there. Haan, you just need one takriban here, one, you know, haan, just throw word, words, to, I, I feel that's the way to do it. So, thode, thode noun, thode verb lo, and uh, just... Uh, Although he's the real deal, right? Um... Gulzar sir, Vishal ji. Uh, also, uh, Makbul director. Vishal ji. Vishal, Vishal. Vishal. He's a real deal. He, he grew up loving the language. He grew up speaking the language. He grew up uh, in awe of and devoted to Gulzar sir, which yeah. he remains to date. Uh, he's the real deal. Yeah, that's what. Uh, I am the, how much do I need to get by? I'm that deal. Right, that I need to get by kitna zarurat hai utna mujhe aana chahiye mujhe oh. urdu kitna chahiye to not get caught out utna mujhe aana chahiye <laughs> uh, so yeah because essentially the the point of uh, cinema is seldom uh, language beyond a point hmm. in fact uh, strangely even though i've been uh, primarily recognized as a dialogue writer i feel that language is the biggest obstruction to good cinema Mm -hmm. uh, and the over dependence on dialogue is what stops Hindi cinema from being perhaps uh, as pithy and as cinematic as it could pithy. be. Pithy? Yes. Don't yes. show off your. Sorry. My average listener <laughs> is six years old. Uh, P I T H Y, no? Depthy. Depthy. Depth. Depth. Or as my cousin Dipti would say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, because language is, uh, is such a terrible tool for mm. communication, people get. Uh, What's it controlled by the language? Sometimes controlled also. by the language, and it, it uh, you get reduced meaning. You know, the guy always corrects you. There's a, there's always a guy in class who corrects you, whatever language it is. He likes to correct it. No, no, I, uh, that is Vishal Bhardwaj for me. Oh, does he? Yeah. But is my, my, my correction. Like the, then the guy is stuck in that language now because he, he doesn't let the language uh, grow. No, his whole thing is ya to mat bolo. Tum jo bol no, sakte because ho. you're doing Shakespeare, so you chase Urdu. Not just that. Jab, yeah, the, even different. in his present, his whole oh. thing is ya tum jo bol sakte ho bolo. Agar Urdu bolni hai, to bhi dhang se bolo. Right? Oh. Okay, agar gum bolna hai to gum bolo, phir gum mat bolo, oh. kind of a thing, right? Hmm. So, uh, a, a lot of informal training happened because of his laughter and sarcasm. Hmm. And I owe that to him because it was hugely fun. It was never belittling, it was never, hmm. but it was always, he always enjoyed uh, a good laugh. You know, some people have this gift of having a little laugh at your expense hmm. and uh, yet ending up teaching you a lot. Hmm. Uh, and that laugh is never unkind. It's it's always a generous laugh. It's always a warm laugh. But it's very clearly a laugh. Like you're a, you're a silly boy. You learn, and because you 
uh, don't feel uh, offended by that. You actually do learn. So some people have that gift. See, this is the same thing with animals. Animals pick up tone. It's not words, it's the tone. So the, he can laugh at you, uh, but he's not ridiculing you. Absolutely. But I can laugh at you, and uh, I can only laugh at you. You can just say one word which you don't like, and this is the tone. You know, you you really mellowed as you've grown up. But I, I there evolved. was a time when you could not laugh without it seeming like you were ridiculing someone, and now genuinely I you used seem to remove like my clothes while telling jokes. Yeah, I would you, go you, you all you out to abuse very, someone. You become a kinder and mellower man. I become a beautiful. I become like Father Teresa. You know, wherever oh, I go, the God. kids come and shout, Father, not an Father! Image. Not an image I want, but yeah. yeah okay, I know, why I know. Not? <laughs> I can't pull out the outfit. <laughs> Please do not. Please do not. <laughs> Even Vishalji won't be able to make that No, film. no, no one can save you from, yeah. yeah okay, listen, yeah. let's go back. We again yes. jumped. So you were telling us about Shekhar Kapoor, because that's, that's the iconic moment in a sense where you, because you had struggled a bit. Yeah, but I, I really think that the definitive thing that happened to me was, uh, the good thing that happened at O&M was I met Rajkumar Hirani. Hmm. Uh, because he was doing a... He was uh, an O&M? He was uh, acting uh, for O and M. Uh, a couple of ads. Yeah, yeah, he had done some uh, uh, fluoride ad or some. I don't remember. Singh, a motorbike ad. No, uh, something he had done. I think Raj it was a toothpaste Kumar ad Hirani or something. O &M, yeah, some toothpaste ad he had done. And but he who was, cast him? But you, I love the guy. No, okay, uh, 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 Piyush Pandey has cast him in a couple of things. Uh, like the everyman. Uh, yeah, like the everyman. Not like very likable everyman. Yeah, yeah, very, like very cute is. everyman. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he was also doing corporate uh, films for O and M. Hmm. So Rajkumar Hirani those days hmm. was doing corporate films for O and M and Hindustan. Uh, <laughs> so uh, when he came, came to show the product. They would say, "Abhi ek." <laughs> More importantly, he uh, and I just ended up jamming and we did a lot of corporate films together. Hmm. So that was my, so it's very interesting where my association with people had happened. With Rajkumar Hirani, it was a, uh, we did a lot of corporate films together where we did uh, sales launch films hmm. uh, or when they were launching a product and just wanted to take it to the sales force and stuff like that. So we used to do stuff for Johnson & Johnson, Hindustan Lever, hmm. various agencies and stuff like that. Jet Airways, I remember. And each one of them, what happened was because I loved doing lyrics, at the end of each, we would do one song where we would take a very popular Hindi song and put... Uh, the lyrics of our brand on it. So I still remember there was without a copyright. Without copyright, because it was never going out. Into, YRF, no? It was never going into the public. It, no? Yeah, it but, was but, only but at the sales that's because launch. It was then now somebody would put it on the phone, and that would, would be problematic. Out. Perhaps yes, so but like, for example, uh, Rehman Sabka Vande Matram. Huh. I have actually done a film in which two agencies were launching a product together. So Clinic All Clear hmm. and Sunsilk Frutamins were being launched at the same time in one sales hmm. uh, in one film. Hmm. We came up, Raju and I came up with this entire film and someday if you ever get Rajkumar Hirani, please ask him if he's got this film because you will crack up. Hmm. We had Rahul Dravid representing Clinic All Clear. <laughs> we had Saurav Ganguly representing Sanjay Kutamil. We huh. created an entire match between Hindustan and Proctoristan, Pakistan being Proctoristan, <laughs> with the umpire cheating and with villains and stuff like that. All of that building up to the launch and the reveal of these and two these brands. Acting. And no, we just took footage from various films Ooh, and cricket matches. And it was a 20 minute film. I right? did something with Rahul Dravid in October. I will ask him. He would not know no, about but he this. needs money for this. Ah, yes. Uses he, somebody owes him. Somebody yeah. owes him. And at the end of it all, when India finally, Hindustan finally wins the match, hmm. uh, there was an entire song rendition of Vande HLL, Jeete HLL. Because they were both Hindustan we level and, we, and we did the entire song and Shan had sung it and Preetam had composed the music. Preetam used to do music for us those days for these sales launches. Rajkumar Hirani were, and I used to write them. Hmm. That is how I met Rajkumar Hirani. Like an A team that would one day become the top right? of the line. And yeah, you so didn't know then. Uh, you were just four guys trying to get the film across. In fact, Rajkumar Hirani was purely into the idea of doing ads. I think his first, uh, uh, the, the the sort of uh, Faustian uh, idea of, you know, this Mephistopheles, do fiction, do fiction, do you fiction. I was, all his references? I, I, was the one, I, was, I was the one planting this idea of doing fiction in his ear. So we first... It's also long format, short format issue, no? That. So I wanted to do fiction and Raju was a very, very talented guy I could mm, see mm. so I was constantly telling him karte, karte. so then we did one pilot for one television series and then the bug had bit then I remember we did a show uh, we wrote a pilot called Jan Bachi So Lakho Pai which was based in a medical hospital mm. so which ultimately nice. became Munna Bhai in a way Really? His idea. So his whole idea of wanting to do something in the medical, the uh, comedy around comedy um, in, set in, in a, a medical, yeah, in a sort okay. of medical college. So the germ of the idea. The germ came of from the there. idea came from there. It was called Jan Bachi So Lakho Pai. 
so it never got made uh, huh. we had written it and then that slowly grew to be munna bhai so so you could tell when he came back to you with the script or whatever no no he knew exactly where it, this was all fairly quickly we met we did the sales film we i uh, you know prodded him into doing fiction he got excited we did one thing led to another and then by the before you knew it we were writing munna bhai together wow and munna bhai also uh, he wrote as a one and a half crore film way he had written it for om puri he didn't think he had access to any so, om, om puri. puri yeah Uh, Umpuri, that yeah, Umpuri. Yeah, yeah. So he had written it for that kind of a, a character. It was supposed to be a डेड करोड़ की फिल्म स्मॉल समथिंग दैट ही कुड डू ऑन इज ओन काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग वन थिंग लेट टू अनादर मेड विदो विनोद चोपड़ा ही वॉज एक्साइटेड बाई इट ही गॉट शाहरुख फॉर इट बन एंड शाहरुख है साइंड अप इट वॉज शाहरुख शाहरुख खान शाहरुख खर्ट इज बैक Hmm. um and then he had to wait uh, uh, raju and sharukh had to wait till and then they got munna bhai and then they got munna bhai correct hmm. whose idea was sanjay dot but um it was vidhu no chopra because uh, uh, he, uh, he i mean had, now it all looks like perfect casting he does a mission kashmir yeah. uh, with uh, sanjay dot and was very fond of him hmm. and uh, he got him and then sunil dot happened as a result it became his last yeah, role yeah. playing his father Baman uh, launch Baman Baman now yeah. there's an interesting story so at the premiere of Munna Bhai and BBS mm. I uh, my parents had come obviously Michael Aboy and Michael Aboy oh. and my father's shop was in Lamington Road and I introduced my father to uh, you know all the actors and mm. to everyone and then to Baman I'm like this is my father and Baman goes are tire wala are <laughs> and that called him something else and yeah. they are hugging I'm like what the hell happened what here? did they call him uh, I don't remember what he called him but uh, Baman had a Uh, wafer shop, wafer shop, correct, correct. Which was in the lane behind my dad's correct, shop. Correct. So when yeah. I used to go in my during my childhood, when I used to go to my dad's you shop, the, I he was behind that. I just recognize, I would recognize the smell of those wafers any time, oh. even today. Yeah. So Baman was a guy. Jubilee. So uh, uh, something there was uh, called, right, uh, and this, 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 all through my childhood, every time I went to dad's shop, there was the smell of wafers frying. I love the smell of those wafers. And they and so Baman knew dad as a guy who was the tire shop yeah. in front of his wafer shop. So they are getting a tire wala and what are they? Iran, Iran. No, he called him Iranian. Iran, Iran. Yeah, Iran. Yeah. yeah. And they are yeah. hugging each other and also yeah, interesting. So that happened, and uh, yeah, and that that's really how sort of one. And then because it was Sharuk, hmm. now yo. Oh, How interesting! I, I it's stopped. coming back. It's all yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, 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 I've not thought about all this in decades. Um, Sharuk read the script of Munna Bhai and BBS. He had hmm. come on to it. At that same time, Farah was doing Me Hoon Na with him, hmm. and was struggling to find a writer. Sharuk had already agreed to the film, but hmm. they were, and he told Farah that uh, check out the guy who's written Munna Bhai and BBS. Hmm. So he put me through to Farah. And that's how. So the karma of Shahrukh came back in the next film, yes. in a sense. Yeah. And that's uh, we have to take a break, but uh, so that's your big three that uh, you said earlier on. Munna Bhai, at the same time. Mehuna Magbool. and Magbool. We'll they come, came within a we'll, year we'll of each other. We'll talk about Magbool also and uh, Mehuna in a second. I want to go back to Shekhar Kapoor's story. Yes. You've got as much ADHD as I have. Yes. You go up and down. Oh yes. But it's fascinating. Fascinating stories about how this yes. happened. I mean, it's always good for you to recall sometimes. It also. is absolutely. Yeah. It is absolutely. But what an interesting thing as you go to break is that all these guys became huge. You, uh, uh, um, Shan, uh, Pritham, yes. and Raj Kumar Hiran. K K was the other singer who used to sing K-K. a lot of the songs. Oh, K K Manan. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, what a guy! Yeah. What a talent! Right. I've done a lot of events with him. Lovely, guy. incredible man. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Raj Kumar Hirani, Vishal Bhardwaj, uh, yeah. Farah was already a you revived, huge choreographer. You made Baman revived uh, Arshad. um sanjay dat in a sense rebirth it, it started off a very yeah. b- wonderful chapter yeah. for him yes wow yeah your good times good 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 we'll take a break then we'll come back see what he can do for me hey hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network on cyrus says cyrus chats with ricky pond popularly known as the dancing dad on social media with over 3 million followers across platforms Ricky talks about how dance became a family bonding tool and the cultural mix in his content from Somalian, Ethiopian, Arabic and Indian. On a century of stories, Kunal tells us the story of how Odisha is rapidly emerging as a premier sporting destination and how the state's commitment to nurturing talent is shaping the revival story of Indian hockey. Folks, if you like our shows, spread the word. Tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on YouTube by their show names. So do look out for them and have fun watching. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: IDFC First Bank and Grab.
back here on Saturday says with Abbas uh, G. You have to call you G now. I'll how do you how do you have, I manage all that? Because also this modern kid from Saint Xavier's etc. and advertising and all that. You went into the film world. You do the G's and all that. I uh, most diligently avoided the G's hmm. for as long as I could. Uh, then I just reached a point where you were working with some. You did say Vishal G. So when I did say Vishal, well, Vishal Gulzar G. G you know, well, Vishal G. Also, uh, so very early on, out of because you used to correct my language so often. Uh, hmm. Very early on, mildly playfully, Sarcastic, I started yeah. calling him Gurujan. Huh. And then it just stuck, and that's hmm. that's actually Vishal ji is something that I only call him behind his back. On the face, I always call him Guruji. See, my memory of him is I only, only I think Makpool we did an interview for MTV. Is that he's really uh, low key and easy going. You know, he doesn't carry any airs at all. He doesn't carry any airs, yeah. but he's a very complex man. Oh, there's there's a there's a lot going on. He's, he's a Shakespearean he, character himself. He's a Shakespearean <laughs> character. He he's definitely not uh, what you see is what yeah. you get. Yeah. There's a lot of layers. Yeah. Uh, there are there are forgotten angles. There are forgotten. Oh, God, he might remember uh, that know, guy was too familiar with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, he he remembers. He's oops, he's oops. a he's a man. So does Baman, no? Huh? Baman has Baman incredible is? memory. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, forget your dad is someone he grew up with. I'm saying uh, he remembers people he meets once. Oh wow! There, there are very few people in the world. Napoleon was famous for that. Napoleon could tell all the soldiers' names. Why do you know this? I don't know why. I like all these stories. Ah. Because okay. uh, because I can't remember anyone. I, I'm I'm the kind of guy, my dad had this and I have it too. Huh. Where you start saying the name and you stutter. Oh yeah. Do you do that? Yeah. So yeah it's like I, uh, say his name is Vishnu uh, right there, who's handing our sound, and you go like um um um, um and then the guy will say. After twenty-seven me, meetings, no, my mind doesn't like acknowledging that it's forgotten something. So it f- fills in the gap with the absolute wrong memory or the wrong name, and then I'll say, no, no, wait, hold on, that was not what happened. Like for example, just uh, before the break, I told you that uh, Sharu recommended to me uh, from Munna Bhai MBBS. I just remembered, no, Munna Bhai MBBS and Mehuna were being shot around the same time. Uh, Shahrukh recommended me to uh, Farah because of uh, Ashoka, which was my first film as a dialogue writer. That's right. That's where 2000, we met. 2001. That's where we yeah, met. Yeah. What he did tell Farah, hmm. because Farah, when she took the script of Mehuna to him, he goes, uh, Abbas has done very good dialogue for hmm. you, but he's done better dialogue for uh, this film called Munna Bhai MBBS. Hmm. And Farah said, impossible. These are the best dialogue. And she was very offended that uh, I hmm. might have done better dialogue for another hmm. film. I don't know about better or worse, but hmm. it remained this joke. Well, you you to your Bambai is very good. You write it for that. Because things click are popular. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 again, again, again so. see, Farah is uh, probably one of the most high on life. One of the most high on life We want to b- tell her to come on the show. Yeah, I'll tell her. Oh, I, she's so nice. She's come once for one minute. <laughs> when she went to visit somebody in the building and came here by mistake, she she is she is a bundle of energy like very few I've encountered. Mm. So actually, again, if you take these three definitive influences of uh, in in my life around that time, very strong ones: mm. uh, Vishal Bhardwaj, uh, Rajkumar Hirani, and Farah Khan. And almost yeah. in the same time frame. So, almost in the same time frame, absolutely. All being shot on that time. Who paid frame, you the 2000, most? 2000, 2000, no one paid me. What? Those, those were not the moment days. one released those your, not, your those numbers changed. Days, those were not days where writers got paid. Come on, uh, the, the the the. I think the the closest I've come to being, uh, to getting decently paid was because, uh, poor Vishal Bhardwaj said, I can't give you so little money. Because that was the budget for the writer. So, even though uh, we <laughs> ha- he was the joint screenplay writer, he did not take any money himself for writing and oh. gave it all to me. Those are not days when writers were well. Then I'll call him Vishal ji. Huh. See, that's a sweet. He, that, he, he, was, he yeah. was capable of gestures yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. He was capable of gestures like that. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, but very different genres diff- of such, writing and such different people. So with Farah, I was. Uh, that for a while I got into this sort of friendship in sort of filmy circles and I used to hang around with her but because the I really, uh, they didn't have so much parties that they had games night so three or four times a week Cards. no then? board games they played Articulate, they played uh, uh, they played Taboo, they played uh, Pictionary, whatever could lead to the maximum number of fights quite the adults quite <laughs> the adults and very interestingly uh they were alcohol-free nights, which oh. was very unexpected. That's, and for, that's right? not a moral issue, but it's just a cheap issue. Huh? No, I love the idea no, of they, not they, spending they, money. They, they, like they they really everyone, everyone, oh. got, everyone made food. There was oh. great food. And people just played games. And So anyway, so Farah was this very high-energy whatever, right? Are you Michelle competitive? Bhattaj, huh? Are you a competitive guy? Do you play these I games hard? Massively so. We oh still have God. a games group. Uh, we, yeah, so that, that stays intact. Then there was Vishal ji who had a lot of depth, but often it uh, emerged after uh, an evening tipple. So with Vishal ji, we had these quiet, quiet conversations into the night. Hmm. 
uh, about life and death and mm. the deeper meaning mm. of life as douglas uh, said <laughs> right so with vishal ji it was that kind of a thing mm. uh, there's there's always a lot of deep conversation but is he funny or is he uh, he he has a, a sardonic uh, sense of humor mm. uh, and which can also border on uh, being meanness. a little meanness yeah. but i never saw that i think i like him that. already yeah he 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 super <laughs> fun uh. and the third was raju who's just uh, it's almost impossible to believe that rajkumar rani is actually as straight as or he as is. we call him apna raju apna raju <laughs> right he he just the straight is what you yeah. see is what you get the guy does not have an ounce of guile wo yeah. malice kya hai guile kya hai ek agenda hidden agenda kya hai uska kuch wo he's never encountered these phenomena hmm. right so there were such different people that i was i was working with and you can see that energy in each of those films you know mm. you can really see a really really sort of good clean soul in munna bhai you can see the soul of the man mm. right you can see the the crazy f- uh, fun zaniness of farah in a is very well etched there mm. and i think all the dialogue yeah. writing that goes with it i mean it's like a perfect film in in a sense for the viewer you come out you know there you can't really criticize I, anything i i uh, don't know about perfect film because as soon as i'm done with the film it starts seeming alien to me i look at all my films so like, like haan, it kisi ne ha kuch to acha hai kuch ba- but i it's done what do you, what I, do you feel w- when when you see them uh, seeing that like circus dialogues became very popular yes. they still are they're done in colleges and all that right. so how do you feel because you know that's your thing and it's like a legacy that stays forever when the character is so deep and so well you know yeah it, uh, but to be honest uh, all it uh, now it's all so long ago that it's it's more like it's like the warmth of remembering a nice uh, relationship but you call up archer and say hey, dialogue suno huh you should do you call up archer there and tell oh, him no, when you're no, feeling no. low I, or something I, hey suno na ek i i uh, in that sense i'm a little proper actually <laughs> in the way i conduct myself in my professional relationships yeah. i don't get too pally <laughs> uh i am actually a little formal so dialogue writer when you're on the set and and you're still a young one at that point uh do you interfere uh here's a very interesting story on the sets of ashoka hmm. uh which This was my Santosh first film santosh sivan huh. it was my first film as a dialogue writer and i was on set writing dialogue and again like the onm decision where okay i will write films and do nothing else hmm. and then a little after that i remember uh, write scripts right? right at that time it wasn't just films and then two or three years after that i was making a lot more money at a wonderful place called cinevista communication where they were paying me just to uh sort of take a look at all the scripts that were going out for television shows that's the best job and and uh, one day i just said i will do cinema and nothing else i will not do television i left at that time my salary was a, really a lot by those days standards hmm. and i just walked away and this wonderful wonderful gracious employer of mine mr sunil mehta said bus keep this job go do your films give me 15 days a month i said i've decided not to do television right and i walked away from that money so i had that instinct of saying if this is the time to do something then i'm going to go and do that uh so when i made a decision i i pretty much stuck to it and on the sets of ashoka my first film as a dialogue writer i saw what happens when you write dialogue on set you're never able to gauge what it's affecting before and after what you've written earlier you you can you can never have time to evaluate you never have time to look back and say hold on if i say this like this then in the scene that happens uh towards the end of the film it will clash this won't also make sense this style of talking right for the the times and, you, and all you that you just 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 the time that you can take to do a good job and i swore i would never write a uh, dialogue on, on set. set ever again and But after my first it happens sometimes don't they uh, sir ye ye पता नहीं कुछ है उसमें भेज दो मैं कुछ दिनों में भेजूंगा उस पर ठीक से काम करके आई हैव नेवर बट यू ऑन द सेट नेवर सो यू नॉट ऑन द सेट सिंस माय फर्स्ट फिल्म सो यू वुड नॉट गो ऑन द सेट आई हैव नेवर बीन आई कांट बदर यू आई हैव बीन वंस ऑन द सेट ऑफ मुन्ना बाय एमबीबीएस व्हेन दे वर रिकॉर्डिंग दैट देख ले आंखों में आंखें डाल सी दैट सॉन्ग सो नथिंग टू डू विद डायलॉग मकबूल आई वाज ऑन सेट फॉर द वन डे दैट आई शॉट बिकॉज़ इन द ओपनिंग ऑफ द फिल्म शेक्सपियर इज डेड नो एंड आई या नो नो एंड एंड इन द इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द फिल्म आई हैव एक्टेड ना माय ब्रेन्स गेट ब्लोन आउट ऑन द दैट्स यू दैट्स मी आई आई प्ले व्हाट शो राजू रियली के राजू चिकना आई प्लेड आई प्लेड द the gay keep of uh, mogul yeah, who yeah. had been yeah. the kid in the gang i can see that huh? I, i can I'm see that sure casting <laughs> <laughs> i wore a purple kurta i still remember <laughs> so we're not yeah. saying that purple means anything huh? let it uh, who's going to get offended for purple Today, now someone will get offended for sure fair the, the purple squad actually yeah because yeah. you do have him like he who's clad in purple robes so uh, do they? let's not that, yeah i remember oh. from school 
Um, so that was the only time I went on the set of Magboom because I had to act and mm. get slapped by Nasiruddin Shah on screen. और बहुत जोर से मारा था उन्होंने. I think Nasir is given one slap per film so he calms down. So yeah, yeah, so he calms down. No, पहले पहले सीन में ही मुझे दे दिया था. Uh, and मैं हूँ ना तो I uh yeah just once i went to just say hi because they were shooting in mehboob most of it was mm. shot in Darjee. so they don't insist on you being there no no because in fact i make it very uh, make it very clear since then and now it's been a lot of years mm. uh, that if you don't have the time to give me to write rewrite lock and sign off so i'm mm. out of your life mm. because the worst thing even the director suffers the worst thing you can have on set is where you are trying to tell a story and there's someone behind you saying no but I had intended the, the actors, story to be. The actors ask you to change lines, yeah. Those are not actors that I'm uh, compatible with, and therefore. No, the director is uh, dealing with them. I'm saying then the next level of communication is dialogue. Who uh, bolao? Dialogue kahan? I'm just presuming. Uh, if, like I said, I mean. And how dare they touch the dialogue also? Because you're not there, so they can't do it without you. That, that, no, be that wrong. that really is. Uh, you have to let go. For me, once I've written it and so the director. You won't interfere if they've changed one word. I would ad- I would advise against it. I try to write in a way that they don't feel the urge to. But uh, after the film is is out there, that's a director's medium, and the director oh. has to tell the story. And uh, so, for example, they will sometimes say, "I'm gonna do this," and sometimes they don't. And you just discover uh, on uh, when you're watching the film that it's it something is a little changed. And I'd say there's a bang fifty fifty ratio. of when it's benefited the film and when it's harmed the film right the change you mean the change huh. like for example uh, when uh, munna bhai was written circuit was called khujli when sharuk was doing it and oh, it really? was going to be played by makran deshpande like so it was sharuk and makran deshpande huh, huh. uh, that's for this uh, song hmm. if you hmm. remember so that was that and then when uh, sanjay dat happened then arshad came about and he was called khujli because that was far more uh, a roadside name more m- mumbai right yeah, yeah. Uh, so I had written the entire character as Khujli, and then when uh, Arshad came on to the film, hmm. he did some rationalizing, saying, "What is defining this guy? He seems to lose his temper at the, hmm. uh, you know, slightest provocation. Hmm. So he's got a short circuit, and hmm. that's how the name circuit happened." I discovered when I'm watching the movie that the character is called Circuit. <laughs> that's how much I'm done with it. That's how much I'm done with the film when I'm done with What's it. What's your deal on it, but, right? What's the decision here? You said fifty-fifty. So Khujli versus Circuit. Give us. Uh, I would say this is. Easily an excellent decision. I think Circuit ah, is yeah. infinitely yeah. more memorable and more um, evocative a name hmm. than Khujli, which was a lot more generic. Hmm. So I think and and there in see Khujli was also even though the character was called that, it's not like I'd come up with the name. It was hmm. Rajkumar Hirani had come up with the name. Hmm. So if in his good judgment he had decided that Circuit made more sense, it's not like I should force it on you. You're not on. You weren't on the Circuit. How will you? I, know? Yeah, I was no. not on the Circuit. Oh, Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that that happened, right? No. But yeah, so certain things happen, and uh, it really the director needs to be able to tell her story or his story. Uh, you don't need a writer so behind saying. मैंने ये सोचा था मैंने ये सोचा था देखो मैंने तो ऐसे लिखा था आई एम सीइंग पीपल जो देख रहे हैं अभी थिंकिंग दैट यू हैव टू आल्सो एक्सेप्ट दैट इज अ टीम वर्क थिंग ही एंड दैट योर विदाउट अ डाउट विदाउट अ डाउट दैट सेट इन स्टोन द द द डायलॉग इज अ is one aspect of a story hmm. uh, just as the lighting is an aspect of the story just the way the sound is an aspect of the story just the way the production design is an aspect of the story you do your job and the most important job is that of the director which is to say are uh, each of these uh, departments telling the same damn story what is the director do yaar the director oh, makes sure the director makes sure everyone says the same is doing something the director has You're only writing, one role acting, the director has only one role hai? जो एक्टर जो कहानी बोल रहा है वो सेम कहानी बोल रहा है जो स्क्रिप्ट बोल रही है क्या लाइटिंग वो सेम कर सकते हैं जस्ट कॉल एंड चेक चेक करना इज द डायरेक्टर्स जॉब हाउ डू यू चेक हाउ डू यू चेक हाउ हाउ डू यू चेक चेंज दिस हाउ डू यू चेक इफ द लाइट और द लाइटिंग इज टेलिंग द सेम स्टोरी एज अ प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन Yeah, but I just need a guy who's technically proficient. Huh? Technically, this is not a technical job because it's two diff- different departments. A guy who's proficient in lighting cannot tell you the story that the light is telling. It cannot tell you the story that a short is You're telling. You're just supporting Rajkumar Hirani because you like I'm him. I'm supporting every director <laughs> that I have worked with. Yeah, that's true. Uh, because that job of getting everyone to say the same story the and getting the producer search. to pay for no. the same story, yeah. it's not an it's not an easy task, and you don't need any department becoming heavy on you. Hmm. Right, hmm. Uh, and that's the whole thing because any department. Harvey Weinstein. 
Uh, I was wondering so which one you, you would. Uh, I don't know these. Every time I was also thinking Javier Badem or something. I, I don't know what to Maybe say. Maybe Jara I know we're talking <laughs> Hindi, Urdu, English, French. We don't even know what you're coming out. Yeah, you know, sometimes a word just describes it better in yeah. in a in a yeah. certain language. Like when you want you're to say Hutspa, you say Hutspa. Uh, now, Pirul, tum which Hebrew se lega? The C is not pronounced. Uh, no, it would be a lot more fun pronunciation with the C H yeah. being pronounced, but it's Hutspa. I should read it as Chutspa. So it's Hutspa. Which is which is which so is, in Hebrew I can't say. Which is why because the the chutzpa play is so fun which huh. is why vishal ji used it in kamine oh. and they kept saying chutzpa huh. and then someone at a film festival corrected him yeah. uh, saying you know it's chutzpa and he goes do you know chutzpa has a lot more fun implication in yeah. hindi yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So you say it slowly it's yeah. a whole different yeah. meaning if i yeah. if i say chutzpa Chut nobody can yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> Right. Okay. So listen, we're running out of time, time, and he's driving me mad. He wants. We want to discuss two things quickly. One is, of course, because there's also Pathan uh, Part Two is also uh, coming out. Pathan Two is scheduled. I believe the script is almost ready for dialogue. Uh, hopefully, mm -hmm. it will be offered to me. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so it will be offered. You would be like to think. Nobody. So. It's a winning. Uh, nobody. A winning combination. Nobody changes. Let's hope. Indians so. are too superstitious. And Firstly, forget anything. War Two being shot right now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's happening. If you know, if you know your cricket, there's two. Steve and. Mark, war. Huh? No, 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 no. Yes. No. I just want the references, but nobody remembers them. No. For me, yeah. that's the fun part, not the bad part. Yeah. No, no, but the the pun. Oh. So I, I always thought. So Haan, my film, Jane Tu Ya Jane Na. Uh, that's what you got to talk about. That's uh, I get a lot of uh, this thing. Uh, Is there a remake? I, I, I get a lot of requests from young people saying, "Please make a sequel. Please make a sequel." I don't know if there'll ever be a sequel, but if there ever is one, mm -hmm. right? It, uh, yeah, how can you not call it Jane Tu? Right, you can, <laughs> you have to, right? You just have to. That's like you can call it Mane Tu Ya Mane. I said no, I'll call it Jane Tu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Simple. So this, this, this sometimes yeah, the pun actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, this is a very catchy thing, man. Yeah, I know, you don't have to say the full title. Also, yeah, Jane Tu, and that's, that's it. it. Done. That's it. I mean, yeah. I have the same cast. The like, aging story similar. Yeah, I I tried doing that. Yeah. See, the the thing is, I I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Um, Um, Mr. Amir Khan is rather sensitive about what should be spoken of and what not. But shortly after Jane Tu, I came up with an idea for the sequel. Mm. I, even I wasn't sure whether I was joking or not, and mm. I took it to uh, Khasa. And uh, I told him, so okay, the film starts with uh, Jay and Aditi um, are living separately. Uh, they, they how many years later? Not too much later, Achha. right? I'm like they they are separated, and Jay has an affair with Meghna. Hmm. I'm um, said I don't care who makes a sequel to Janetu it will never be you. <laughs> He's like that is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever heard because I said that's how life occurs. That's how life occurs. After all that romance what yeah. will happen is they'll grow sick of each other they'll want to get Happy divorced. Happy endings are he'll be yeah. drunk somewhere he'll meet Meghna he will end up having a so to me Jane Meghna had a scene and Aditi and Jane nearly split up as a result. And then how they don't split up was supposed to be the story. I'm um, said never refer to this movie again. Thank God you directed just one. Don't ever refer to it again. So there was there was that joke about. So the there's sequel. a dark side to Abbas. I hope so. The dark yeah. side uh, keeps your light side alive. Yeah. Right. Also, uh, too much light side gets to you then at some point. Both have to balance off each yeah. other. Yeah. You yeah. have you have to have fun. Like so you kill your own characters or you have to destroy so their example, happiness. If you if you look at Magbul, people would think that writing Munna Bhai would be a lot more fun than Magbul because yeah. Magbul is dark. I assure you, writing Munna Bhai was work. And writing Magbul was a joy because Vishal ji and I were taking so much delight in the darkness hmm. that that seemed like a joy ride because the the bad boy in us was being unleashed and bitching about like human much, nature, which you, right? And yeah. and Munna Bhai was just like painstaking hard work because we were reaching for the good in the human soul, hmm. you know. And there isn't too much good in the human soul, frankly. Uh, you struggle to find it. Finally, so, a man who <laughs> understands the world like me. Yeah, I no. hate humans. I'm you you are very, very overrated species. Wow. Overrated species. Very overrated completely, species. Completely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, Thomas Hobbes said, "A selfish, egoistic, and cruel." That's the that's the human. Yeah, that's our basic qualities. If you look back, it's not a, it's not untrue. I prefer selfish quoting Calvin and Hobbes, but okay. So, go, chal, <laughs> you've been you've been shouting <laughs> over my head with all your famous references. Give me one point. Yeah, yeah, okay, one yeah, point, yeah. Yeah. Same area. Come Fair on, enough. South Mumbaiers. Okay, we have to go into the. Uh, So War Two is coming out, and but there are five six other projects which we can't talk about. No, no, it's not about can't talk about. So War Two is coming out. Hopefully there should be uh, Pathan Two. Uh, I've just done the first draft of the dialogue of King, which is a film Shah Rukh like, uh, Shah Rukh Khan Suhana. Sujoy uh, Ghosh is directing it. Correct. Uh, Shah Rukh and Suhana, yes, and Siddharth Anand, who's the director of Pathan. Yeah. He's the creative producer. 
uh, co-producing it with Shah Rukh. So yeah, that's that's going to be pretty director? exciting. Uh, uh, Sujoy Ghosh. Oh, Sujoy Ghosh. You just Sujoy told Ghosh. me. What an idiot. Yeah, Alzheimer's. Uh, Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happening. absolutely. Well, well, let's get the Jewish pronunciation. So that's, There's no A, right? That, that, that's happening. Josheimer. And hopefully a directorial. After a long yeah, time, I feel I up to it again. That. So uh, there's a film that I'm uh, directing that Vishal Bhatoj. G will produce. Will be producing. Uh, and dialogues will be both of you again. Uh, will be. I, I think he's got that kida. Right? He's not going to he, let yeah, you go. He, no, he will yeah. not let me be. To, he will. He will have a say in the language. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and that's that's the joy of having. Can it. you give us a little bit about that? Like, uh, it's, a, it's a. It's a. Uh, it's it's kind of Guy Ritchie space. I love those very movies. Black com- very black comedy uh, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. a bit of a fable. Uh, I I don't like unhappy films. Action comedy kind of mix. Uh, it's it's yeah. a thriller comedy. Yeah. Uh, a dark thriller comedy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will happen. I'm just doing the final draft of that. And there is a show that. Have you cast that? Uh, no, no. I I go script first. Acha. See, I can. I can color my hair, huh? I, I'm just not bothered right now. No, no, no. You, the, I can, I can see you working. <laughs> There's this uh, absolutely wonderful role about a, a drug dealer called Daddy in that, and uh, yeah, works. Abbas, stop talking. Okay, it's just hurting my feelings now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ayush has asked a question. These yes. are so we have a we set, tell people who's coming on and then they send us messages and yes. questions. We'll only ask you three. Don't worry. No if you could rewrite the ending of any film. Yours or someone else's? Which would it be, and how would you change it? Let's take both options. Your film, anything that you felt that maybe it should go on the other way. Keep in mind, mostly they're dialogues, right? But it's also you, you, you've got to handle the story. Um, Magbul, for example. Magbul is what I would change. There was a decision made on the editing table in the interest of brevity. Hmm. The film was getting a bit long, hmm. and uh, a particular aspect of the film was. Changed hmm. uh, at the end of the film, and you mean by, death or life? Uh, no, not not death or life, not that fundamental. But the fact that Guddu and Samira, Baji's daughter, hmm. and uh, 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 you know Guddu, they take Magbul's child, hmm. Nimi's child, hmm. um, and they, and that's the point where the fight goes out of Magbul. Just seeing that the child is taken care of by the same person that he had tried to kill by the girl. So you don't. My thing is that during the edit. Uh, there was a particular scene that was removed, which was that the at the point where they are planning on killing Magbul, they also want to kill his child. They want to kill Nimi because they are hey, they, their fathers have been killed by Magbul, right. their brothers have been killed. So they are saying we will kill him and we'll kill that bastard. We'll kill his bastard child. We'll kill Nimi, right? And at that point, the character of Samira, which is Abaji's daughter, mm. and this goes back to something that happens uh, in the play as well. But mm. she says nobody will touch that child. That is my father's child, and at that point, you bring back the question: Was that a Baji's child or is it Magbul's child, right? So mm. that plays with the idea of the ghost because, in that sense, it's mm. an echo. Of, and with that scene going away in the interest of brevity, mm. uh, that end of them accepting the child so is is a bit without too, that scene. Loop, it doesn't make sense. It's this suddenly it has never human, made sense to me. That why why feelings, have they? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like random humanitarian feel, and they're so looking. You don't change for, the ending. You just wanted that bit. To I connect, would change the, the connect, context of the end. Connect, that yeah. big connect, I would put back. Vishal ji, please when you redo the. अब मुझे डांट पड़ेगी ये बोलने को. Yeah, I know. Please send it to him. Yeah. Yeah. And so you uh, fought for this, huh? To retain I, the I, I did, that the is scene. one of the few things that I did. Uh, uh, I did protest Abbas too had much. A full shock of hair before this scene. I d- yeah, before yeah. Na gussa ho gaya. So so I did I did protest so that. That's time. one. Any any other so film that is one. As, as a critic, not uh, as a critic as a lover of film. Yeah, but just in terms even of a Hollywood film as a lover of films, you ever see a film and say no, I don't like this ending. I think uh, it should be this. Again, let's stick with Vishal Ji's film. Uh, I had a problem with the end of Heather. What are you doing here? Why not? I he's my he's my he's my. देखो अब मेरे producer है तो उनसे उनके उनके साथ में क्या? Worst time. No, worst time. Good time because interaction जा जा रही है ना. So then you got the chance to contextualize, explain, say sorry. Somebody I'm not an actor. Touch. You're saying that 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 you're saying I would just save that forgiveness for before the guy didn't have half his body. <laughs> If you remember, he's he's half his body has been he's just hmm. alive, waist up hmm. briefly. Hmm. Hmm. At that point, not killing him doesn't achieve too much. If you want to plant the idea of I forgive you in spite of everything, then there has to be a realistic basis for that man to stay alive. Hmm. 
to me that scene became a bit odd saying what's the point of forgiving him his waist down he's he's blown up yeah right so you're telling half his body i forgive you live long and prosper did it was a problem but you weren't working with vishal ji no no i wasn't so on head uh, i wasn't on head uh, uh, did you, have uh, you mentioned this to him no <laughs> ियर Uh, a little less stuck up um were you and stuck little up? yeah or were you shy I because think, you know these people no i can pretend that i was shy but i was stuck up in that uh i was i was constantly gauging whether a friendship was worth something and i lost out on a lot of people because of that professionally Today, also uh, professionally and personally hmm. and i would urge younger people to dear as well as my younger self let people be enjoy them for who they are uh, it's easy everyone to chill when you're older than when you're younger absolutely oh. absolutely and as 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 today i am infinitely happier with the company of people than i realize how much i lost out when i was younger because i was uh, so you would say you were arrogant as a young man i was a Were dick you? really yeah i was just like so so you believe your talent up by and words and ideas and philosophies and what nonsense uh, just chill sometimes you know sounds Take, like a fun guy but आजकल के नौजवान आई मीन यू नो व्हाट फिलॉसफी क्या है आई 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 थिंक दैट दस दस हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ लाइफ अकर्स इन रिलेशनशिप्स राइट एंड दैट देर नो गेटिंग अराउंड दैट एंड इन विच केस जस्ट ट्राई एंड एंजॉय देम अ बिट मोर फॉर व्हाट दे आर एंड पीपल फॉर हु दे आर देन वेदर टू टाइट व्हेन यू आर ऑन समटाइम्स यू नो आई वाज टाइटली वांग आई वाज यस Oh, when nice of you to say Bruce Wayne says Dibakar Banerjee said in an interview that a director cannot be a good writer Okay, this is personal because they are biased by their politics. इसका मतलब क्या है? Also, since a director has more power in the ecosystem, we see a lot of great writers end up becoming mediocre directors. What are your thoughts on this? This is now your two, position. There are two different uh, things. Okay, so the second point uh, is is absolutely true. Uh, is that uh, there is a a tremendous the politics is also where the power comes from the politics mm. that divakar is referring to mm. uh is there the the director has to factor in way too many things besides just what is on paper mm. right uh what is the actor looking for what will be a sell what is a channel looking for what is an ott looking for what is mm. uh, the producer's perception of what the audience is looking for so bringing it all together mm. uh you, when you are trying to work in all that uh on paper uh then you never get a pure script that mm. works for itself so he's absolutely got a point but the fact of the matter is that because they have the capacity to play those politics mm. uh a play sounds a bit uh, offensive but to to balance out those politics yeah that's also where the power and the money comes from that's what they're getting paid for and as a result a lot of writers want to get into the power game and then end up leaving what they're really good at which is staying away from the politics and doing something good on paper so your art doesn't get corrupted corrupt when you're a writer but it can get corrupted when you're a director uh corrupted is perhaps because there's a lot of people factors yeah, pulling corrupt, you know? yeah like uh, so the dick i was when i was younger would have definitely not just said corrupt but man. i would have said sabotage huh. right uh but uh, today i would say that uh, it's it's uh, it's tweaked hmm. right uh but but what happens is that you may be a very good writer and not necessarily qualified to be a director but you're so keen to make that extra money and get that extra power and that extra visibility uh which is why you see so many writers who are not uh just it's writers but can't wait uh, they are they are directors and waiting also it's not just visibility they also want to be honest with their product sometimes na they agar main banaya that's a story they'll tell you what yeah, i know yeah, they want to, they want so the money and the problem in rocky one how he, he fought for that one i know that i'm saying so while we're talking it. about our industry yeah. i can tell you that 80% of them are just like yeah I, i'll make 50 lakhs as a writer and i'll make 5 crores as a director where's the contest oh. it's simple as that they are and the you can't blame they are the first part of chutspa that's <laughs> actually a very apologies, good one apologies. so so yeah there is there is a huge difference in the and and i think that that's to our detriment so why you become a director you're such a successful I, successful uh, writer and no no for me it's as simple as you've done it once. i i i've done it twice, twice uh, yeah. once didn't go so well when i made jhutai sai it didn't do very well hmm. with john and you know my wife so uh, for me direction is way too much work 
hmm. and the politics part of it is what I don't relish. But I do enjoy telling a story in a different form, and sometimes it just uh, you, you get fatigued as a writer, and this is a whole different set of muscles that you're exercising, hmm. right? So if you're always a runner, sometimes it's good to just do HIT and do strength training kind of a thing. Hmm. You do a lot of strength training. I, I only do. I only do strength training. Correct. I don't have the energy to. So do so every once in a while you feel the calling hmm. uh, to do something else, and for me it's but more no, about uh, am I going to enjoy it because I don't enjoy I still I'm reluctant to work with too many people I'm not great with people uh, so for me depending on 150 people so that I can do my job something that some people thrive on hmm. I struggle with so for me there really needs to be a story that I, I'm I, dying to tell which is I, what I, this I can't figure out whether you're being I mean if, if you're being honest here and I think you are whether you're just it's a borderline arrogance which is causing it or actual artistry which is causing it you know because as an artist you're almost an introverted artist who doesn't want well, other you, people to interfere uh, in his art I, I, I think anything at its maximum will carry the seed of its opposite no? like the hmm. whole yin and yang thing hmm. so at the point at which you are you're most arrogant you will find there's a line that says don't be so humble you're not so great hmm. where does that line that's true it's a great line right so at the peak of humility you will find the seed of arrogance at hmm. the peak of arrogance you'll find within it wow. the seed of humility have you picked up on that so <laughs> Both the extremes, just like uh, so, yeah, standard, as I told Trump and Harris the other day. Right? Oh, oh. So, so uh, I, I, I just express as as honestly as I can, mm. uh, and I don't know whether it, sometimes it can seem arrogant, sometimes it can seem humble, sometimes it can seem uh, self-deprecating, sometimes it can seem self-promoting. Yeah, yeah, promoting. Yeah. Huh. So Abbas Sahiwala is another Shakespearean character. It looks like. Jesus God. Yeah, but aren't we all in some way? No? Yeah, yeah, purple robes. Yeah, <laughs> purple robe. <laughs> Bruce, uh, that's it. Oh, that's it. We're done. Thank God. Thought it would never end. Yar. Yeah. And on and on. Yeah. So we're looking forward to War Two at the moment. Uh, yeah. King and a few other projects which uh, we will. Two and yeah. yeah, something on OTT. Some, something or the other is always My going God, on. We're working too hard, no? No, I actually wish I was a little more hardworking, but it, it, it's kept me younger as a writer. The fact that I've done as little work as mm. I have and mm. every time, uh, so I've, life takes you through ups and downs. I've had my breakdowns, I've had my uh, spells where I wasn't at the most, mm. but a lot of my time is just fallow. I'm just reading. I'm just think I'm, I'm doing nothing associated with writing. And I think the fact that I've you written as Insta little, like me. I, I've, I've stopped doing that. I've you don't watch that. YouTube uh, short reels Both about dogs yeah. smiling and cats falling. Well, and cats, all. cats you yeah. can't escape cats. I've got cats, three cats. Yeah, so cats, 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 cats will rule the world. Exactly. Cats will rule the world. But generally speaking, the fact that I've done as little work as I have, I think has kept me younger as a writer. But it's not that little work. I was going through the bio right now. Fairly little, given the fact that some people so have four releases, four releases. Uh, I would say by Western standards, a year, right and I have four releases a decade. It, there is a bit of a... How? Yeah. It's quality, not quantity. It's what works for me. As, as I told your barber. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> okay, as we say, bye, one last question. Do you miss Michaela? Um... I'm a big South Mumbai boy. I, I just I, miss South Mumbai. I, I used to miss South Mumbai a lot after coming to the suburbs. Hmm. But about five, seven years ago, I once said, you know what? I you want a night on cord. town. I want a night on town. And I went there at 9.30 huh. uh, on a, a later weekday. It mm -hmm. wasn't a weekend. And town was dead. Hmm. Town was dead. Everyone was asleep at 9 o'clock. And I realized that now it's just old people who are not doing anything. So uh, <laughs> I stopped missing it. How <laughs> rude. <laughs> and correct <laughs> and fair and yeah fair. oh it's, it's become a retirement home Listen, we still have the iconic eateries okay we you still have the iconic eateries and 9 o'clock people are not there oh, anymore okay yeah so so a little no bandra and andheri types so yaar. Every, the vibe the vibe that uh, oh. I used to think about when I thought South Bombay has now travelled True. For the we're watch. not the heartland of Mumbai. Not, that not yeah. it's all yesterday's money. Yesterday's, yesterday's money. Fame. And yeah, and yeah. most people are sleeping yeah. off yesterday's work. Yeah, Th those who are doing well have moved from South Mumbai. Have moved like from South Mumbai. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Only a few live with their mothers. Huh. Yes. Same flat. Yes. Nothing changes. Waiting for Godo. Well, <laughs> my mother has. Uh, after my dad's passing, my mother's moved back in with us. Huh. Uh, Does she must be missing by Um, she's a. Uh, she's in clouds of her own right mm. now in her mm. mind and she's just um, what Shakespeare calls second childhood mm. she's right now enjoying that oh. and is just basically one very ziddy creature who's very insistent about what she wants to eat uh, what she wants to do stuff like that and uh, our job is to serve uh, and just talking about living with uh, living with your mother uh, we've recently started doing that and I think it's the biggest gift life has given me recently Yeah, she's moved back in with us yeah. there you go 
तेरा बाप का क्या जाता है